Hey everyone and welcome back. Um, this is Anna and uh, this is the daily reading for Wednesday, March the 12th. Let's go ahead and get some cards out. Okay, Queen of Cups. Again, she pops up. She, she popped up two days ago. All right, Nine of Swords. We have a sword theme going on this week. I actually like the swords. It's kind of twisted and weird that I like the swords. I know people are like, why would you like the swords? But um, I just find them to be very interesting. And here's another sword. This time it's a king of swords. What is going on with this king of swords? Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, let me get let me get one of my uh, Lenormand cards out. Ha! Ah. Okay, again, that letter, that communication, that letter, something, written word, letter, communication, text. And it's interesting, letter comes out, communication, lots of swords. And it's very interesting that all the swords are to the right of the spread. This queen of, this queen of cups, okay, she's to the left and she's facing outward. So she's not even focusing on this anymore. This is telling me that... Um, Given the uh, the readings in the, in the past two days, um, the situation between male and female, partner, family member, whatever it is, friendship, um, though it has caused a lot of headaches, literally headaches, it, there have been issues going on, something going on causing headaches, um, this Queen of Swords is just facing away and saying, you're not going to give me a headache anymore. I don't care about your problems. This is your problem. You deal with it. And that's what the Queen of Swords is saying. Uh, Queen of Cups. Wow, I said Queen of Swords. Woo! Mm, something's telling me this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Cups is getting icy. She's getting icy and cold. She's, she's about had it with being super nice and everything. So she's not trying to have people run up all over her. Um, so yeah, she's saying this is your problem. You handle it you deal with it and there's a little sense of isolation going on here you know um and this energy is just so it's um it's not that it's confrontational but it's like she's walking away she's she's actually making a statement like i don't care about your problem anymore you will fix this if you are head of the household you will fix it you know, that kind of thing. It doesn't only imply to marriages and such, for crying out loud. This is general. But you understand, and you can apply this to workplace, you know, what have you. So many things. This is the general reading. Now, what, what is interesting with this uh, King of Swords, Mr. Mr. Logical, Mr. I am calm, Mr. I, I, I am in my mind, in my right mind, and... All this stuff, I I um, uphold the law and all this kind of all this kind of jazz. What happens to him? Really, behind the scenes, he feels like he's bound. He's stuck and he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. It is interesting because he's stuck between the nine of swords and the eight of swords. Okay, so this is telling me this king of swords, this persona, this air sign here. This is all air, 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 and water. Goodness. Um. Um, it's telling me that, well, this King of Swords is ready to arrive at a conclusion finally. Um, but there's still a little something that he has to reflect upon. Eight. Um, it, it, there's something that he has to reflect upon, you know, or act, actually act upon, excuse me. You know, but there he has been in a state of reflection as he's sitting there. Sitting there thinking. Thinking away. Thinking about the problems. Thinking about what he's going to do, right? Um, but... Things will come to an end eventually, and there will be an end to this this King of Swords problems, okay? Um, but it's just time for him to come up with some kind of action plan, okay? He needs to come up with a way to get himself out of this situation, which it seems like he doesn't really want to quite confront. He doesn't want to confront this situation or admit something, okay? That's what, that's what I'm getting. He doesn't want to admit to a failure, admit that he has been part of the problem, admit that he has... Um, agitated situations and 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 cause situations to escalate and get out of hand. So the Queen of Cups looks away, and the King of Swords understands why she's looking away. So he's trying to find himself to get, you know, he's trying to find a way out of the hole. He dug a hole for himself, and now he's trying to find a way out. Okay, 
this card, the letter card, card of communication, written word. This is tying back to the uh, earlier in the week. And there's something about this communication which, you know, he's really, you know, he, he's saying, wow, I, I need to do something. I need to, you know, I need to stop um, being so passive, okay? Because with this, this Nine of Swords is a weak card. It's strong in terms of, in one aspect, but it's it's a weak card. And the and this is a weak card too. So from these two cards are, are you know, this King of Swords doesn't, it doesn't tell me that he's very powerful at all. If anything, it weakens him. It's telling me that he's not acting from a position of strength, not yet. He doesn't quite realize the position of strength because he does, you know, he just doesn't want to admit it or confront it or whatever, okay? So he needs help, he needs help. And Queen of Cups, she's becoming almost like the Queen of Swords. Um, she's she's turning away. She doesn't want to deal with it. What's going to happen there? I don't know what the Queen of Cups is going to do. Um, but I'm sure that things, um, you know, the, the things will eventually work out. I'm being very optimistic about it. And and they can work out. Of course they can. You can see yourself out of this problem. It's just there's some things that you can't solve for people. So well, the lesson of this reading, I don't want to, it's like very long readings this week, my goodness. The Queen of Cups is telling us there are things that we can um, help, we can assist, but sometimes we just have to look away and let people help themselves. You know, because if you've been in this role trying to like point out the issues or give solutions to someone and if they don't listen what the lesson of the Queen of Cups is that we just have to turn away and let people handle their own situations let them dig themselves out of their own hole okay plainly stated have a blessed day always and keep the lines of communication open keep them open let's not have negative lines of communication and I will see you tomorrow for the Thursday reading bye bye